It is finally here. We are going to be cracking open this Star Wars Unlimited box. I'm super excited for this. This is the very first TCG in a long time from Star Wars. Right now the prices are ranging. I don't know. Just go to eBay, um, your local card shops hopefully, or game stores. We'll probably end up getting these and they are wildly popular but I don't think they're going to be selling out like uh like Lorcana has or anything like that there are some really really fun hits in here i have not played the game but i did look a little bit into it learned how to play watched you know a few youtube videos looked at different uh, card openings and we're just jumping right into it when it comes to cards we are looking for like i said we haven't gotten anything uh this actually this is the very very first pack i'm opening ever so i'm super excited these cards feel so interesting starting off with the common so down here in the bottom right corner, let's see if we can get a close look at that. You can see the brown little C right there. Then there's uncommon, rare, uh, legendary, and foils, hyperspace, uh, you name it. But then there's showcase cards. But we're mainly looking for some leader cards. And I don't know, pretty much just playable cards to be honest. <laughs> I want to build a deck. I want to be able... Okay, so here we go. This is the leader card. Leia Organa. When this unit completes an attack, you may attack with another rebel unit. Sounds pretty okay. Again, just a common leader. But hey, we're getting leaders. That's okay. Command Center Death Star. Okay, I guess we'll take that as our very first base card because you need one for each, as I do know now. We'll just put some comments together and we'll probably end up organizing everything afterwards. And any cards that I specifically like, I guess I'll just put aside. Again, not really sure if I'm collecting or playing. I want to do both, realistic. Honestly, I'll probably end up just playing with whatever I end up getting. Another common, that's a really cool one, the ATST. And uh, Seventh Fleet Defender, Crafty Smuggler. These are really nice cards. I like these. Here's our first uncommon Cantina Bouncer, General Tag. Tag? That is a character that I am honestly not familiar with, but. Always excited to expand the knowledge. And our first card that I think I'm going to put aside for Zeb. I'm going to put anything Rebels, Ahsoka. There's nothing Ahsoka in here. But Ahsoka related, which Thrawn is my big one. But Carabast, of course we know. That's uh, Zeb right there. We got Wedge Antilles. That's a really cool ground unit. That's a rare card. For right down there at the bottom. As you can see, the R right there. Pretty cool. Okay, okay. I guess we'll put that aside. And our first foil is a common infiltrator's skill. We'll end up putting those aside as well. Gonna try and figure out how to organize some of these. But we gotta just probably go with it. Oh man, I'm so, so excited about these cards. And shout out Josh. I wanted to do these so long ago. I'm so, so sorry. I can make up a million excuses. But again, I'm sorry. Another leader card. Okay, so we get a leader per pack then, I think. I'm getting a lot. So another Leia, but that is different. These two are slightly different. So I think it would be a rarity, and this one is probably better. Is this a hyperspace one? Is this hyperspace? Is this what the hyper? No, this isn't the hyperspace ones. Does it have that back? Oh, it has that back too. Um, this might just be a normal hyperspace one. I think, okay, they're, I think they're in two, every two to three packs. I'll put up actually a little list right here, right now, real quick. There you go, look at the foil cards, legendaries, hyperspace, and the foil versions, and the showcase odds. That's a little, uh, little thing from TCG Player. And we'll, we'll put that on again at some point, maybe. But uh, we got Castro City as our next base. Spec for Soldier, oh my gosh, okay, see that? That looks pretty cool, that... Uh, foil in the back, uh, Steadfast Battalion, Cargo Juggernaut, Keep Fighting. I don't know exactly what cards are like going to be uh, super meta right now, but I can probably assume that this base card is not going to be amazing. Uh, way late, maybe, maybe at the beginning of the game, but as stuff starts to scale, I am a big, big Hearthstone player. Still play, been playing for years and years and years, so our next on common. So I do understand a lot of really awesome cards. Okay, so this is a hyperspace card for sure. Hyperspace rare. Don't get cocky, Gambit. 
Choose a unit one at a time. Reveal cards from your deck until you choose to stop or have revealed seven cards. If the con cost of the revealed card is seven or less, do that much damage to the chosen unit. Put the revealed cards on the bottom of your deck in a random order. Um, seems okay. Seems fine. We'll put that one over there as well for now. Oh, nice. This is a card I definitely wanted to hit. The Bendu from Star Wars Rebels. Super, super amazing. The next non heroism and villainous card you play this card costs two less okay i think i might got that wrong but oh okay an uncommon okay i don't oh my gosh there's so many cards i love in here we're opening more guys we are so opening more distant patroller uncommon uh foil oh my gosh just, just eating my words right now. these cards are awesome i love these okay we're definitely doing more we got the thrawn pack give us some good luck thrawn Let's go. We'll see if another leader, okay, is in fact on the front, which we got the legendary Han Solo. Just a rare one. Okay. That's a nice to see. We got Catacombs of, oops, Catacombs of Kadera. Oh, nice. We got a nice little Yoda card. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Moment of Peace. Regional Sympathizers. Gorilla Attack Pod. Patrolling V-Wing. Vanquish. Oh gosh, taking two at a time here. Occupied Siege Tank. Uh, Frontier ATRT. Jawa Scavenger. And then uh, Mining Guild TIE Fighter. Baze Malbus as an Uncommon. That's super sick in here. Lots of awesome Rogue One characters. That's awesome. I love that. Okay, put that right there. And then Vanguard Ace, another Uncommon card. Repair for Takeoff. Search the top eight cards of your deck for up to I feel like search uh, cards that make you uh, look at your draw or draw cards and stuff is usually really good in early stages of games. Um, and so is aggressive decks, but all right, Fets, Fire Split, when play you control both Fet or Jango Fet as a leader ready to this unit. Okay, that's awesome to get then. That's a rare card. The ghost foil! We got the ghost foil. Uncommon. This is like one of my actual like hits hits. The ghost and a uh, foil version of it. Okay, we're actually gonna sleeve that one up. Who knows, I might end up playing with this and just end up buying like a graded version in the future and people end up grading them, but wow! The ghost, foil car, shielded. When you play this unit, give a shield token to, okay, that's solid, 5-5, five, five. that's really good it seems like. Heroism, and uh, I don't remember what the blue symbol is at the top left. And then when played on attack, you may give a shield token to another specter unit. That's good. That's a lot of shields. That's a lot of value in this card. Not great if you're behind, though. So, wow. Incredible. That's exactly the type of card we want to see. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This is this is going well. I'd say this is going very, very, very well. I don't even know what cards you want to see. I just want to play the game, to be honest. Oh, my gosh. You guys are in California. Hit me up, man. I want to play. Harrison Dula Leader card. And that is literally going to the side right there. It's also a rare. Let's take a look at her real quick. Ignore the aspect penalty on Spectre cards you play. Epic action control six or more resources to play the leader. Let's take a look at the back. Awesome shot of her. Love the artwork. She's a rebel, Twilic, and Spectre. Ignore the aspect penalty of Spectre cards you play. On tag, you may give an experience token to another unique uh, unit. An experience token, like a plus one, plus one or something. Um... Okay. Seems okay. 4-6 for 6. For six. Also going to sleeve that one up because that's a, one of my favorites. If you hear some kids playing in the background, they're playing at, some, at the pool in my apartment complex. And uh, that's why I love living in like little communities sometimes. So just enjoyable, to be honest. Beautiful card. Harris and Dula. And the Ghost. Uh, other, I would love to make like a Sabine. Like just the characters I love to play, to be honest. And uh, I don't know if I'll go super meta with it. We got the Sabine Ren leader. She is a common. Uh, that is amazing. Oh, wait. We didn't even look at this pack. We didn't even finish this pack. I just saw that. My bad. My bad. Administrator's Tower. Come, someone's screaming. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. All right. Jetta um, Agitator. Alliance Dispatcher. Snowspeeder. Resilient, just another basic card. Death Star Stormtrooper. Academy Training. Oh, God, I love those episodes. Underworld Thug. Crafty Smuggler. ATST. 
Ruthless Raider as our uncommon. And Entrenched, uncommon, attached units can't attack bases. It seems, I don't know. Bosk, Ambush, after you play this unit, he may ready and attack an enemy unit. When you play an event, you may deal two damage. This yellow, like, bounty hunter deck sounds fun. I don't know what it is, but it sounds amazing. We got Force Lightning as our legendary. This is a legendary card. Heck yeah, I guess we'll sleeve up this too. Force Lightning, choose a unit, loses all abilities for this phase, and if you control a Force unit, pay any number of resources and deal two damage to the chosen. Oh, for each resource paid this way. Sounds okay, I mean, for one, I mean, it does not sound bad. Asteroid Sanctuary. You lost an enemy unit, give a shield token to a friendly unit that costs three or less. That sounds like value, but I don't know, playable. Force Lightning, legendary card. Let's go. Starting to sleeve up a few more cards than I was expecting, to be honest. Oh my gosh. This just seems like good value per pack, to be honest. I would love to uh, be able to pick up some more packs. I, oh my gosh, I'm doing it again. We are going back to this pack now. So being red, leader, action deal one damage to each base. Oh, that's in, that's aggressive. That is an aggressive card. Deal one damage to it, yeah. To each enemy bait. Yeah, that's a super, super aggressive card. Um, very interesting. I don't know if I like that. I mean, that play style is kind of like Warlock Echo Base, by the way, um, from Hearthstone. It feels like an aggressive Warlock deck, which, you know, those can be fun. But I like playing the control -y decks, to be honest, usually. They're just always so, so satisfying. Combos. I don't know. I play. I have thousands of wins in Hearthstones. I occupied Siege Tank. Our next. Uh, what's it called? Hyperspace. It's just grit. 5-4. Five, five, okay, we take that, though. It's a common. Really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Hardpoint Heavy Blaster. Uncommon. And, uh, Rallying Cry. Each friendly... Oh, that's like the Mandos. Death Watch. Or, that's a... What's it called? Uh, Mauls. And we got a normal Ghost card. Let's go. That's a good Uncommon. We got a rare Search Your Feelings. So there for a card and draw it. That's powerful. I mean, it, yeah, that's good, it seems like. And then Steadfast Battalion uh, uh, Hyperspace Foil card. It is a common. This is just a common, so it's like a foil hyperspace. Pretty good deal for sure. Man, man these cards are just amazing. We're, we're not even close to halfway done yet. We're just, we're gonna keep, I'm doing it. I have a pack right here. Oh my gosh, we, I am just, this is too funny. Okay, we got another Sabine Ren leader, if it will end up focusing. Just a common, we'll take that. We got the Dagobah Swamp as our base. Next up, we got the Echo Base Defender. Guardian of the Wills. Oops, let's make sure you guys can see these beautiful cards. They're so fun to read. If you guys want to slow down at any point, I just want to learn about the game, as I'm sure a lot of people do. Whoa. Maximum firepower event card. Hmm. Very cool card. That art looks really good in that. Surprise strike. Rogue operative. Force surrender. Uncommon. Lieutenant Childson. Childson? I don't know if I said... <laughs> I really don't know if I said that right. Again, another... I'm not... When it comes to, uh, like, side characters, original trilogy, I'm definitely probably the worst. I know some people know every single... I mean, I know people study that frame by frame. We got... Oh. My. Gosh. We got a hyperspace, uh, rare... Ch oh, my God. And it was... Was it, was it doing it again? Was it really... Come on, man. We got hyperspace chopper here now. Hyperspace chopper. With a legendary foil... Oh no, that's just a legendary card behind it. Super Blast Blaster. Oh my gosh, so so much is happening right here. And a Disarm uh, Foil card, which we can put that one a little bit more to the side, I guess. Okay, for sure, this is just a huge hit for me. I think the only thing that can make this better if it was a Foil version. And uh, we're, we're on a hunt for a show. We will not stop this series until we get a showcase, by the way. That is just happening right now. That is decided. We got, yeah, the Super Blast Blast defeat all units for eight. That's literally a, a, a twisting nether from Hearthstone for literally eight costs, and it just destroys everything. But, okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, now we will catch up with the pack we were opening forever ago, 
And it's another Harrison Dula leader. Let's go. A little damage on the front. What is that? Okay, we gotta move. Okay, there we go. Command Center Hyperspace card for the Death Star. Hey, at least if we're running that deck, we'll have a cool hyperspace for it. Okay, we get a lot of hyperspaces. I guess they're like decently common. Which makes, I think, collecting even more fun, to be honest. Oh, the only thing that can make these better... I know it's a TCG, so they're not going to do it. But if they were numbered... I think numbered is so much fun. And I think that's why I have a real addiction to, like, tops. Because each card is so unique, and it just makes it really fun, I think. Collecting a really good time. Another maximum firepower, another disarm. Smuggling component. Admiral Petit... Oh, that's a uncommon. Uh, Admiral Piet. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say before. Force Throw. And another look base card, uh, Tarkenton. Tarkentown. Where is that one? Tarkentown. That sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. And, uh, ke and uh, Keep Fighting. Ready a unit with three or less power. Kind of like, that doesn't seem that good, to be honest. At least good to, like, run in your deck. Who knows? I could be, com I mean, that is a an aggressive card. Yeah, with a Sabine, though. I'm not sure. That's... I don't know how good the aggression cards are yet. Chewbacca as our leader card. That's a really nice one, I think. And um, Chopper Base. Let's go. <laughs> um, mission Briefing. Choose a player. They draw two cards. What? That's incredible. We got Homestead Militia. Rug Survivors. Imperial In Interceptor. Resupply. Academy Defense Walker. Volunteer Soldier. Outer Rim Headquarters. Viper Probe Droid, Pirated Starfighter, a Rogue Squadron Skirmisher, Force Choke, and Red 3 as our rare. That's a really cool one. And one more. Oh, nice. We got uh, Strafing Gunship, which is a rare foil card. That looks pretty, pretty nice. Some of them are pretty dark, though, which you can notice on camera, I think. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're almost like... The 20 minute mark and we are not halfway done i'm gonna speed up a little bit sorry i'm taking my time i'm just so invested in these to be honest we got Jin urso that looks fun Jin urso deck dagobah we got the gorilla attack pod homestead militia again and i think you can have uh three of each card in your uh, 50 card deck not including your leader and uh, base card which means you, of course, are going to be looking for duplicates at the end. And there is one of them. I don't know what I meant by duplicates, but Kane Ninja Arts, first hit. Uncommon. We'll take him, put him to the side for sure. Bid Fortuna and Colonial Euloran. Euloran. I guys, I know his name, Clone Wars. He's fantastic. I absolutely love him. And, um, oh my gosh, his pronunciation right now is uh, not my forte, especially when you say so much of it. Wait, this is legendary. Change of Heart. Zeb and Callus take control of a non-leader unit at the start of the regroup phase. Its owner takes control of it. Okay, that sounds that sounds like it could work. I have to see the deck for that. We'll put that one aside. System Patrol Craft Common Foil, not a bad hit. Okay, well I guess we can take that for now. Oh my gosh, we got cards everywhere right now. We got piles and piles that I'm putting like, oh, I like these cards, oh, I like these cards. <laughs> but I love them all. I really do. These cards are amazing. I want to go play this so bad. Jin Urso, we got Capital City Hyperspace card. Our second base hyperspace card. Really, really cool. We got the experience on the back. Token upgrade. Wait, is that on the back of the other one? Oh yeah, it is. Token upgrade right there. Really awesome. Really, really, God, I love this. This game looks so fun. This game looks so fun. Are you kidding me? We got Metal Ceremony, Seasoned Shore Trooper, 2 1B Surgical Droid, Disabling Fang Fighter. Oh my God, I love that Lego set, by the way. <laughs> Strike True, uh, Bounty Hunter Crew, Common Card, Restock. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, oh my God. Are we, have we been blurry? How long have we been blurry for? This, look at that artwork, though. That's so sad. That's so sweet. We don't see that. and We don't ever see this scene in Star Wars. What the heck? Asteroid Sanctuary. TIE Advance. Oh, that's a cool one for an uncommon. Distant Patroller. Nice. Another beautiful ship. Another boss. We'll take that. Lando Calrissian Rare. Just a unit card. Saboteur runs unit. Attacks North Sentinel and def defeat the Defender's Shields. I love that. That's super good. Saboteur is actually good. 
We'll see how good Sentinel. Sentinel is literally taunt from Hearthstone. <laughs> and Saboteurs just ignore taunt. <laughs> when played, resort to two friendly resources to their owner's hands. Hmm, okay. That one seems potential. Season Shore Trooper, and I love the Shore Troopers from Rogue One. Some of my favorite troopers for sure. I just, I don't know why. I love the entire battle of Yavin, to be honest. It's just too good. Oh my gosh. Let's go. This is, this is honestly a little bit of an adrenaline rush for me. I feel like I'm just, it's a good time. <laughs> Grand Moff Tarkin. Action, give an experience token to an Imperial unit. Okay, so just a small buff card, basically. Echo base common card. And it looks like we got something, something kind of dope. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. System patrol craft. Green squadron A-wing. Recruit. Wilderness fighter. Open fire. Oh, what the heck? Open fire. Deal 40. Jesus. Waylay. Snow trooper lieutenant. Snapshot reflexes. A 1 1 1. That's Mando? Yo, he may attack when attached unit. That's Mando. What the heck? That's dope. And here is our hyperspace card. It's Gorilla Attack Pod. That's tight. I mean, what? Don't get it. You can get hyperspace cards for every single card here. And then you can get foil versions of it. This is a collector and just like this is so fun to have hyperspace decks dude. in Hearthstone I'm an all gold deck person. I always I've had all gold decks for a very very long time. I've played lots so I mean I pretty much only invest in the uh, expansions these days. Oh god those are uncommon. My organization skills and then the force is with me. Oh my god I'm one with the force and the force is with me. What a great great card. Admiral Akbar rare. Rebel always it's always it's a trap. Give us another thing. Oh out maneuver uncommon foil. Choose an arena ground space. Exhaust each unit in that arena. Eh, that sounds okay. A little delay, but I feel like we'll see. I mean I feel like a lot of the powerful cards of the Gandhi game are gonna be ones that are like a meet more immediate like a Oh let's go! Grand Admiral Thrawn Leader card. Give me the whatever name, what was the name? Showcase, give me a showcase Thrawn soon. Oh my gosh, what a hit though, love that. Actually, we're taking a look. When the action phase starts, look at the top card of each player's deck. Action, reveal the top card of any player's deck. Exhausting the cost the same as or less than the revealed card. It's a pretty tactical card, I, <laughs> to be honest. Um, three, nine? That's incredible stats, I feel like, especially when you can upgrade. Talk about it. I mean, that sounds like it could work. Capital City, Lothal. Did I say... Uh, I thought it was just Lothal. <laughs> I don't know, but that is the capital, I guess. Alright, Mercenary Company. Restored Arc... Oh my god! What? This... Uh, the Arc 170 Lego set... I want some of my favorites. Infiltrator Skills, Battlefield Marine, Rebel Pathfinder, Make an Opening, Lothal Insurgent, Confiscate, Disarm, Outmaneuver, just a normal common. Just a, Wow, that's a big difference in the foil. I love the foils. Admiral uh, Piet, Uncommon, Carabas, Hyperspace. If we put the normal Carabas aside, are you kidding me? What? <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, maybe I need to put all the hyper, make a hyperspace category. And we got Agent Callus right after. Rare. Okay, let's see. We gotta read what he does. After you play this unit, he may ready and attack. Oh, okay. Uh, when another unique, unique unit is defeated, you may draw a card, which the unique is up there. They can only have one at a time. Use his ability only once each round. Eh, okay. Sounds like it could work. Wow, what? Uh, car set oh wow seven fleet defender foil that just looks absolutely beautiful in the foil card for sure let's continue on with more packs hey uh here's some of my noties going off in the back boba fett common now we can finally play this deck now that we got the leader let's go chopper base rug survivors Precision Fire. Oh, cool. Sabine and Hera card. Resupply. Put this event into play as a resource. That's not that. Wait. Put this event into play as a resource? That seems... For, that seems... 
Good. I'm putting that on the side. <laughs> Academy Defense Walk. This feels like a uh wild growth. Like just see okay, seems like I can get you a anyway, get you ahead. Academy Defense Walker common. Disabling Fang Fighter. Oh, strike true. Love that artwork. That looks great. Really cool, Luke Viper. Bounty Hunter Crew. Maximum firepower. Hyperspace Carter. Man, getting these hyperspace cards are awesome. I love that. Is it? And we got a normal Zeb right there. Hey, what you doing? We'll take. We'll take ya. General Veers. That's a cool villainy card. Uncommon. Power of the dark side. And what is this? A rare energy conversion lab. And General Veers as our hol or foil in that pack. Okay, we are like halfway done now, so we will continue on. And I'll go a little bit for Grand Moff Tarkin. Another. Love him. Absolutely love it. Command Center Death Star. And we got the 2-1-B Surgical Droid. Imperial Interceptor. Metal Ceremony. Season Shore Trooper. System Patrol Craft. Open Fire. Restock. Mining Guild TIE Fighter, Outer Rim Headhunter, Greedo, who shot first. Have you, if you guys have seen his Harrison Ford's interview, he's like, I don't care. Rebel Assault, and wait, was this upside down? We got the fifth brother uncommon. That's a tight one. Uh, the unit gains raid one for each damage on him. He gains plus one plus zero while attacking. Uh, you may deal one damage to this unit and one damage to another ground unit. Mm. We'll see. We'll see on that one. Uncommon, though. Okay, it was upside down. Jabba the Hut as a rare. I feel like this is a big hitter. I mean, it's Jabba. Come on. Each trick you play costs one less. When played, search the top eight cards of your deck for a trick event, reveal it, and draw it. Okay. I mean, draw is always good. Resupply. Hollow. Okay. Love it. Heck yeah. Well, I think I think that resupply card is going to be good. I mean, it's very... You can kind of tell just off, it, off of what cards are... Uh, I don't know. The simplicity and the value. <laughs> but Chewbacca as our uh, common hyperspace card. Hey, that's tight. I, we'll have a hyperspace back too. Oh yeah. Sentinel and Grit. 7-2-9. You could upgrade this. Play unit that costs 30 less when this gains Sentinel for this phase. Card could end up being good to be honest. Alright, we got Catacombs of Kadera again for our base. We got Recruit Supply. Uh, why is that <laughs> resupply supply? That th that cut right there was the 30 minute marker for me. So now I know I gotta start rapping. I don't even know what we last saw, but the last thing we got was this Chewbacca and it's actually the same exact pack still. So if you didn't see this hyperspace Chewbacca, check it out. It's pretty wicked. I think it could be solid to be honest and we're mid pack still. So let's continue. Green Squadron A Wing. Sorry, I don't notice right away. That's definitely on me. <laughs> Anyways, we got the Snow Trooper Lieutenant. Snapshot Reflexes with Mando. Takedown something else. I'm going too fast now for my reading skills. Overwhelming Barrage Uncommon. That's a lot of stats right there. Smoke and Cinders. My gosh, were we going blurry again? All that just to get some blur. We got the Overwhelming Barrage. I'm sorry, I gotta start looking at the camera, but I'm totally looking at my hand. <laughs> Heroic Sacrifice Rare Foil Card. Draw a card with this attack, using it gets plus two, plus zero, and gains. When this unit deals combat damage, defeat it. Huh. That seems good. That seems good. Uh, okay, wow. Oh, I, I, again, I just love these cards so much. I just. I cannot wait to open more. So I'll probably be getting a few more. And we got, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. We got the Hyperspace Sabine. I know it's just a common, but I love Sabine. This is awesome. I am super stoked on that one. We'll be sleeping that one up almost right away as well. We got cards everywhere. We'll, uh, we'll actually organize out that little cut before I show you guys everything that we got from today. First Legion Snow Trooper. Um, and uh yeah but i'll be i'll end up doing some more of these for sure i'm definitely a big fan of it there's a collecting side and just a competitive side i just want to play this god i hope there's an event going soon i'm gonna go on their website if you guys don't know on the a sneak attack rare that's a pretty cool one and snow trooper lieutenant as our common uh foil card 
But on their website, they do have it. So you can look for uh, stores in your area or different events in your area that do uh, hold unlimited or unlimited events, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm definitely excited to check it out because I would love to uh, play this. This looks really fun. We got IG-88, Taika Watiti coming out for a character card. Administrator's Tower. And then we got some more commons. Repair, heal three damage from a unit or base. Iffy on that one. Healing is just, just I mean, when Priest was first out, healing just was not great. Especially when you're just healing anything. You need to get like a bonus effect usually from getting healing value. I mean, I'm sure there's printable cards that could make that. And we got something kind of shiny in the back, so. We're just getting there now. We got some t volunteer soldier common hyperspace card. That's that's hype. That's really awesome. What does it do? If you control a trooper unit, this unit costs one less to play. Two mana, two three. Raid one. It seems okay. Probably not going to be played. Maybe not. I don't know. Reinforcement walker uncommon. Power failure uncommon. At at suppressor. Wolf. Hey. Wolf's a card? I didn't know that. Saboteur. When play on attack, base can't be healed for this phase. Oh, bases can't. Okay. That sounds... That's, that's a good aggressive card as well. Wait. Okay, this aggressive... I see it. I see it. I see it. Cargo Juggernaut Hyperspace Foil. Okay. <laughs> that's... What a mouthful. That is pretty sick, though. That is our second Foil Hyperspace. Cargo Juggernaut, let's go. Don't worry, I will line everything up just so we can actually clarify everything that we got when played. If you control another bl uh, blue unit, heal four damage from your base. I mean, we'll see again how healing does. That's a pretty sick card, though. That means it just it's a cool, it's a cool uh, ship or not ship vehicle in general. So okay, let's continue on with our next pack. Okay, we got Cassian Andor Rare. Let's go. We'll take that. Administrator's Tower. Okay, I gotta I gotta figure this out eventually. I have cards everywhere right now. Battlefield Marine. Rebel something. Make an opening. Cantina uh Bragar. Braggart? I don't know. Can, what is happening with this language? This language is getting too hard now. I mean, death troopers, confiscate, a uh, swoop racer, cell block guard. There's always a cell block guard every time. Sabine Wren. That's our first Sabine uh, unit card. So that's pretty exciting. On attack, you may... Wait. While there are at least three aspects among other friendly units, this unit can't be attacked. Unless she gains Sentinel. Okay, fair. Uh, you may deal one damage to the defender or to a base on attack. That seems another decent aggressive card. Protector. Oh, God. Okay. That's, that's, that's so sweet. The force is with me. What an amazing hyperspace card. That is awesome. Nice. That's a good one. With the Chirrut. And uh, this card is not upside down for some reason. I thought it was bombing run. Rare. And our rugged survivors foil card in that one. How many packs? We're just going to empty them out. Box. No more. Six packs left. Let's go. I'm definitely getting another box. And I just... We're gonna be getting... <laughs> we're calling the home. We're calling the boys up. We're playing some Star Wars Unlimited tonight. We got Director Krennic. Echo Base. Okay. But this... God. Come on. Alright. We got the Steadfast Battalion. Sorry about that. We, I mean, we just got so much uh, focusing going on. Keep fighting. Next up, Escort Skiff. Vigilant Honor Guards, Jetta Agitator, Surprise Strike, Oh God, Azutic Liberator Gunship, Underworld Thug, and a Wing Leader. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> Shoot first, but he doesn't care. Rebel Assault and Security Complex as a rare base card. That's pretty cool. And Cantina Braggart as the foil card. It would be nice to get like a lot of foil cards just to make cooler decks or make your deck look cooler. It does literally does nothing to play. Well, yeah, Organa, Chopper, Base. All right, Alliance Dispatcher, Snow Speeder, Resilient, Death Star Stormtrooper, Academy Training, Scout Bike Pursuer, 
Gamorian Guard. Hey, that's the first time we've seen the Gamorian Guard. ATST. Season Shore Trooper hyperspace card. I mean, that looks pretty sick. That looks just gorgeous. Let's be honest on that one. Okay, we got Admiral Ozel. And that one I might have mispronounced. <laughs> Take down. I'd like to say it with confidence, though. No good to me, dead. Another uncommon home one legendary card. Another legendary card. Let's go. It's just a normal one though, but hey, we'll take it. We got an oh my wait, is it oh I thought that was legend why why did I think that was legendary? Tie advanced uncommon foil. Hey, we'll take it. We're here for a good time, not a long time, I guess. <laughs> Alright, Chewbacca. Hey, we already got the hyperspace version. I just saw a hyperspace card. Let's check it out. Administrator's Tower. Cloud City, dope hyperspace base, hyperspace base. <laughs> All right, we got ardent synthesize sympathizer. We got re. No, if you guys could not see that focus, we'll take another look. There we go. Regional sympathizers, patrolling V wing, moment of peace. Occupier side tank, gladiator star destroyer. Sorry about the focus. My arm is also killing me. I don't know what happened. I desperately hurt my hand and it has like no, I honestly holding these cards right now hurts. So I'm just trying to like, just trying to get it through, man. Just trying to get through. I really, really want to take a look at these cards so bad. I'm going to continue to do more card openings. We got a lot of great content coming up. I got to be honest. Seventh Sister Rare card. Okay, this is a cool one. Saboteur. This unit deals damage to an opponent base. He may deal three damage to a ground unit that opponent controls. That's a lot of damage, to be honest. So that card could potentially be good. Uh, that is a rare. Wilderness Fighter Common Foil card. What do we got? Three packs left. Give me a big hitter. Give me a showcase in the last three. Give me a showcase. IG88. Another Taika. Capital City. Uh, oh my god, we just put that right on top of our hyperspace. We got a little hyperspace pile. We're gonna have to reorganize everything for sure. All right, we got Wampa, a Wampa Super Laser Technician, Alliance X Wing, Repair, First Legion Snow Trooper, ISB Agent, uh, Karelian Firefighter, Wale, Cons oh, this is a hyperspace card, Consortium Star Viper. While you have the initiative, this unit gains Restore 2. And I don't think so, but. Uh, we got Ezra Bridger, our first Ezra Bridger. Love to see it. One of it early on Ezra as well. He got his little uh, electric uh, slingshot thing. When this unit completes an attack, look at the top card of your deck. You may play it, discard it, or leave it on top of your deck. That's powerful. That's a good card. I think Ezra's going to be good. Attack pattern Delta. That's a lot of stats. Uh, Bethnic two tubes. General Krell. I did not know he was in the set. He has a unit. When oh, I'm gonna have to get two more of these. When other friendly unit gains when defeated, you may draw a card. Wait, each other friendly unit gains when defeated, you may draw a card. Whoa, that seems powerful. That seems good. That seems good. And we got Ruthless Raider, Uncommon Hollow. That card is just so beautiful. Come on, two packs left. We got some awesome, we got some awesome heat in this. I'm not upset with if we don't get anything else. I mean, this is just, I think I'm pretty positive we got some heat if we didn't. I'm in, just in love with the set enough to be happy with it, honestly. And uh, this, this is, this is fun. This is fun. I, Vanguard, okay, Cloud City Wing Guard, keep fighting. Alliance Dispatcher, Cargo Juggernaut, uh, Spec Force Soldier, Syndicate Lackeys, Tylen. Uh, LN Fighter, Gamorian Guards, Inferno 4, General Dodonna, Cartel Spacer, and the Chimera Thrawn's ship is in this as a rare, not even a legendary, shielded. And he plays unit, give a shield token, of course, it's an 8-7, that's a lot, that's, that's crazy. On attack, name a card, an opponent, name a card, an opponent reveals their hand and discards a card with that name from it. Whoa! I haven't played a game like this in a minute. That's super fun. That could be an awesome card. We got the Cell Block Guard as our next foil card. And we got one pack left before we take a look at everything. And oh my gosh, I love this set. I love it. Love this TCG. Cannot wait to play it. And uh, we got Lair. Okay, you just had to give us one more hyperspace before we went, didn't you? Castro City. And that's a pretty awesome one. 
man, I love it. Love it. I love the whole idea of hyperspace cards as well. Just really good idea. Steadfast, Vigilant, Honor Guards, Jetta, and... Okay, we're seeing a few few repeats. So I'd say you could honestly get away with only getting like a box or two if you want to just make a whole bunch of decks. If it comes to collecting though, might want to do a little bit more. Wilderness Fighter? Two? Two and one? Are you kidding me? Wilderness it's a base card, but pretty good. I mean, we'll take it. Mon Mothma, uncommon. Okay, Ruthless Raider, uncommon. Yoda, our first Yoda uncommon unit. Also, choose any number of players to each draw a card. That's funny. All right, it binds all wings. Rare, and our last card is Underworld Thug. This is a hyperspace foil, but it's just a common in our last pack. Hey, I, okay, we take these, we take these. Wow, this is crazy. Take a look at all the, okay, we will get this organized and let's take a look at everything we got in this awesome box. Taking a look at everything we got. Now we will actually take a look at our hyperspace cards and our foil cards in just a second. I'll lay them out. Just didn't have quite enough room. But here is a general look of everything right here in this corner. We got a big old stack of commons. Like you can definitely make multiple different decks with this amount of cards from one box. So if you guys want to pick up a few boxes, you guys will have decks for days for sure. We got a whole bunch of un commons like that's what i'm saying like we got so many cards here i mean uh, 16 cards per pack what like 24 packs that's a bunch of cards then we actually got our rares right here which do include a lot of my favorite characters including the bendu we got um general krell there's some really nice pickups in the rares in my opinion Right next to that, we got a whole bunch of character cards. Whether they're common, rare, uncommon, they're just going to be in this pile. And same with our bases, because, you know, they go hand in hand. And I, I pulled the ones aside that I might want to collect, even though I, I'm honestly having the itch just to play with them. If I wanted to collect them, I might just wait for someone else to grade it and go pick it up off eBay or something. I just want to play, man. <laughs> but also to the side... Out of the entire box, we ended up getting four different hyperspace foil cards, ranging from three commons to one uncommon, that being the Distant Patroller card. All very, very stunning. I don't know about playability, but hey, we got them four in uh, one box. You know, that's pretty solid, honestly, and lots of really cool cards. Then we ended up getting four legendary cards on top of that. You know, we'll take those. I guess it's going to be pretty difficult, I actually think, to acquire them for decks. So that'll be very interesting to see how that rounds out. And then down here at the bottom, we got just some of my favorite pulls I wanted to put aside, including our Foil Ghost. I think that is an absolute banger card. Just <laughs> If they could combine this and the Hera and both of them were Foil Hyperspace, that's the only way to upgrade them. And then they're definitely set aside for the collection because that is sick. Super happy with both of those though, the Foil, the Ghost, and the Hyperspace Harrison Dula. The Harrison Dula, I believe, is in fact as well a rare. So, you know, a little bit bigger hit right there to be honest. We also got Chopper Hyperspace Rare. Had to pull him aside. He looks fantastic. Again, if they made that foil, then that's the ultimate hit as well. But hey, we're getting there. Collecting one by one. I think they're really good hits today. We got Grand Admiral Thrawn as our leader. I like him a lot. Super, super excited to get him. And then we also got one Hera, two Sabine leader cards, another Sabine unit card, some Kanan Jars unit cards, resupply because I love this graphic. Also, we did get one foil version, which I believe is this one, if you can see the little bit of a shine on it. But we got three, so we can play with it. So we can do a green deck. We can do a Hera deck, it seems like. All right, that's kind of what I want to do. But or maybe like Sabine Red. I don't know. This just seems fun. We got some Zeb, Carabast, Ezra, and then we did get the Chimera as well as the another Ghost. Just normal common cards, but well, like not foil. This one is a rare. And Ghost is an uncommon, so either way, good hits, but let's take a look at some of our foils in hyperspace. And here is a broad view of our hyperspace cards. Awesome collection for sure. At the top here, we got four different bases, Capital City, Kestro City, Command Center, and Administrator's Tower. Hey, we'll take that. Nothing crazy there. I mean, of course, the ultimate combo is the foil uh, hyperspace, but... 
just these hyperspace cards, they look really good. I'm really happy with the art. I'm just ecstatic to get some of them. So starting off, we got, uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight, eight different commons. And then right next to them, we do have two uncommon hyperspace cards, both of them being event cards, which I think is kind of interesting as well. Happy about those for sure. Oh, we also did get, okay, we'll get touch on that. Then we got one rare. Don't get cocky, kid. I mean, that's a really, really funny uh, little event card. And hey, we're happy to get that pull as well. When it came to characters, we got three different characters right here. We got Chewie, Princess Leia, and Sabine. Sabine is actually one I meant to put aside to go with the rest of the crew in the little collection we got going on. But yeah, either way, we got three different leader hyperspace cards. Pretty solid pulls. I'm happy with them all. Again, could have maybe used a legendary in there, spice it up a little bit. Hey, pretty solid nonetheless. And yeah, let's take a look at some of these foils. And our small last little pile we got is our foil cards. Here we go taking a look. We ended up getting one rare foil, two rare foils, my apologies. One event, one unit. The starship gunner gunship is actually pretty wicked. I think that's pretty awesome. We also got a few advanced, mainly being the villainous category right here. They look all stunning, by the way. I love the light on it, but they are all pretty dark. That's the one thing I definitely would uh, say... Definitely note when looking at these cards, they're a little dark, similar to how Lorcana's foils work, to be honest. But then on top of that, we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 different foils across a whole very, various amount of commons. And uh, yeah, pretty solid pulls overall. But yeah, that does sum up everything we got from our first box. I will do a second box coming very soon. We have everyday content coming for weeks right now. Weeks, literal weeks. That little break, yeah, we're going to keep it going. The only times we might get take off is for conventions, like Saturday, if I can't edit or whatever. But we'll see. Lots more content coming soon. We ain't stopping. We got lots more Star Wars Unlimited. Sparks of Rebellion coming very soon. I got boxes coming. I need more. Need. To, we will not stop until we get the ultimate showcase card. I promise we are not stopping until we get a showcase, at least one showcase card. That's an average of one in 12 boxes. So this this little series is gonna be going for a hot minute. But hey, I love Star Wars, love cards, love playing TCGs. I couldn't ask for anything more. I think this is a great set. I think it's gonna be really fun. I look forward to playing and uh, hanging out, opening more stuff with you guys. So hope you guys enjoy. See you tomorrow. Peace.